Corey and I met up with a guy out here in the desert who's got an ancient iron hand cannon. I've called my arms and military expert, Alex. He's gonna meet up with us. He's gonna see if it works, put a price on it, and hopefully blow up Corey's theory that this thing is not a handheld cannon. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up, Alex? Hey, Alex. So, <laughs> he's trying to tell me that some guy held this in his hand and shot it. <laughs> I don't buy it. It looks like some kind of mortar thing. Oh, well, technically, it's a hand cannon, and that's its handle. So, yeah, that was sort of the original intent. And they also pushed it into the ground. So there were a lot of uses for it. But in technical terms, we call that part of this hand cannon the handle. OK, I'll go ahead and go with the hand cannon thing for you. That makes you happy. <laughs> so what do you think? So this is one of the most rudimentary devices considered a firearm that, that ever existed. It's Central Asian, maybe Indian, Indo-Persian, Afghanistan, that sort of region. It's iron, but I would date it 16 to 1700. It has a touch hole drilled into it, so they could put some powder in the touch hole and fire it that way. You know, when these were originally designed, they stuffed anything down there, pebbles, arrowheads, anything that would come out and do damage. Is your intention you really want to fire it? Yeah, why not? If we fire it, and it actually fires well, and I have a video of it, and I do buy it, I can sell it better. You're OK with that? Yeah. I do need to see down the bore. <sighs> and I'd like to be able to see if there's any obvious cracks or fissures. So this is a, a little bit of a light that'll it'll show me the general shape of the inside of the barrel. Hand cannons were of the age of swords and bows and arrows. And while they could do destruction, they definitely instilled fear in the enemy due to the fire, the sound. Uh, and if you did get hit by a projectile, it, it wasn't a good thing for you. So this hand cannon is actually in pretty good shape for its age. The bore walls are thick. We can fire it with a low load of black powder. So what do you think it could be worth? I've seen things go like this on auction for as much as 10000 OK. I've seen them go for a lot less, five, dollars $7,000 in that range. What I'd like to do is I'd like to see it shoot before I give you a final value. All right, we'll go load the thing. I'm going to film it. I think we should stand back. I would stand about him over there. So you're not going to hold it? No, I'm not holding it. <laughs> no way. <laughs> and that's the whole point. It's a hand cannon. I know, but I inspected it, and it looks good. But I, I do think we should keep our distance. So I stuck it in the earth. I put some boulders behind it to anchor it down. We're ready to fire. Oh, and Corey, I took your advice, and I got your special bear. Thank you. You got the bear from the pawn shop. Very special bear. So Corey asked me to stop by the shop to get the teddy bear, and I rigged it with some really special stuff. Uh, so if I can just hit it, it will explode. Like, I'm ready. Everybody good? Let's see this. Uh-oh. <laughs> So good, Corey. Great job. What a good idea. It's vaporized. I got to say, the hand cannon's cooler than I thought. All right. Um, well, it was a heck of a show. I got a great video. So what's it worth? It's a very nice example, but it's rudimentary, and the collector's market is so-so for it. So I think this 5000 Well, thanks a lot, man. This right. is an amazing day, right, by the way. Yeah, this is really fun. Corey, great idea. Appreciate it. Thank you. Buddy. Yeah, no problem. I value this hand cannon at $5,000. It's a really nice example, and it's 400 years old, but it's not the earliest example of a hand cannon. But now that it can fire, and we can prove that with a video, Rick will have an easier time marketing it. So you wanted $4,500. If it's worth 5000 I can't pay that. I mean, sure. it takes a long, long time to sell this. So I'm thinking more like 2000 bucks. It's a really limited market. That's the most I can do. Well, I can do 2000 OK, cool. Um, just get it back to the pawn shop, and uh, we'll do some paperwork and get you paid. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Take care, man. Thank you.
You blew up the teddy bear. <laughs> you know, dude, it was old and it was dusty, and I was just tired of looking at it. I mean, you ever see a teddy bear blow up? I know, I never saw a teddy bear blow up. Well, now you have.